So you should make a note of this, have a look. The flat circular face of a hemisphere is facing upside, okay. This is a condition given. So it is also very simple in the previous problem what we have learned how to draw a sphere. In this case, hemisphere is given. It means to say that a sphere which is exactly cut 50% each. So proceeding further. First, you need to draw one cone at the lower part and upon which an hemisphere is placed. So, the diameter of a cone is 60 mm. So, as usual, so if you draw a circle of diameter 60 mm and enclose it, you will get a same dimension square. So, directly I will take this way. So, starting from this point, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 on this side. Again from this side 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Next from this point 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And again from this point count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We will meet with a common point. Draw this and obtain a base part. After drawing this base part, identify a center of this line. Next the center of this line. Next the center of this how to identify? It is just an half of this. If the base diameter is 60 mm, take 30, 30, 30 from all the points. Next, meet these two points to this opposite corner with a very thin line. Next, similarly, meet these two points to opposite corner. So after drawing this, from this point as a center, this as a radius, you draw a curve. So, it joins this particular way. Next, same with this as a center, this as a radius. Draw one more curve. Similarly, the intersection of these two lines you need to take. Remember, take this point as a center and this as a radius, draw a curve. So it meets somewhere like this. Most of the students, they take center somewhere here. Remember, you should not take that. You should take an intersection of these two lines. Similarly, coming to this intersection of these two points somewhere here, with this as a center, this as a radius, you draw this curve. So after drawing this particular curve, next what you need to do is join these two points and join these two points this way you identify the center same procedure with this center what is the height given it is 50 mm so from this start counting 50 mm so this should be iso 50 10 20 30 40 50 after drawing this height just join this tangentially So after drawing this tangential line, since it is a curved path, this particular is a curved path, the base part is not visible. You can maintain this with a thin line, so or else you can erase that part. Some examiner expects to show the construction line, so ensure you retain the same. Coming to hemisphere, so the hemisphere diameter is 40 mm, so what you need to do is, from the same center, Raise the height for 20 mm, 10, 20. This is supposed to be a ISO 20 mm. So, diameter was 40 mm. So, from this point, if you raise in height ISO 20 mm, you will get a center. After that, passing through this point, center point, draw one line such that this line should be parallel to this 30 degree line. Again, draw one more line such that this line should be parallel to this 30 degree line. 
after drawing thus from the same center since it is diameter 40 start counting 10 20 to the right side 10 20 to the left side 10 20 to the this side 10 20 to this side so after drawing thus you will get this particular next same procedure draw one line passing through this point it should be parallel to this line again this line should be parallel to this line and draw this line this should be parallel to this line again draw one more line this line should be parallel to this particular line mean to say that any line you are drawing this way it should be parallel to this 30 degree line and the line drawing to this particular way it should be parallel to this 30 degree line after this as you observe the same method the way you have drawn the circular part here same procedure draw this join these two points to this particular corner again with this as a center you can draw this curve next from these two points as a center join this next with this as a center this as a radius draw this curve next the intersection of these two lines meet somewhere here draw this particular curve again the intersection of these two line meet somewhere here draw this curve after drawing this curve it is very simple now you observe this is a center and with this curve part as a radius you draw one particular curve have a look with this as a center this curve part as a radius you draw one curve part so it clearly meets like this so now it is clear that we have a cone upon which a hemisphere is placed so have a look the flat circular face of an hemisphere is facing upside have a look this is a flat face of an hemisphere which is facing upside so after proceeding have a look the curve since the curved surface is clearly visible this particular part of a cone which is not visible so next when it comes to the dimension you can show this particular this is iso 40 mm so the cone height is 50 mm you can show this particular height and when it comes to the base part you can show this base part dimension so it is 60 mm so this is iso 60 mm next coming to the next question a hemisphere of diameter 50 mm is resting centrally resting on a top of a square prism of base side 60 mm and height 30 mm such that the curved surface of a hemisphere is touching the top face of a prism draw the isometric projection the only difference between this problem and this problem is very simple so here the cone was at the lower part upon which a hemisphere was placed when it comes to this particular you have a square prism upon which a hemisphere is placed so we shall look the dimension so the square prism of sides 60 mm and height 60 mm so proceeding further first we shall draw the base part starting from this point start counting 10 20 30 40 50 60 again from here 10 20 30 40 50 60 next from this point start counting 10 20 30 40 50 again from this point 10 20 30 40 50 next you draw the lines this way after drawing a base part the height is 60 mm, 30 mm next from all the points rise the height 10 20 30 10 20 30 again from this 10 20 30 next here 10 20 30 so after this join the points to get a top face so after drawing this as i have told 
in the isometric projection top face is clearly visible right side face visible and left face visible since these faces are clearly visible erase the line whichever passing through those faces or else you can maintain with a thin line after drawing thus identify the center of this particular top faces same the base side is 60 take this 30 and this 30 again from this point 30 again for this center line it is 30 after this join these lines so you will get a center next from this particular point have a look a hemisphere of diameter 25 mm so from this you raise the height ISO 25 have a look here a hemisphere of diameter 50 mm is given so from the center you need to raise the height for ISO 25 that is ISO 10, 20 and 5 next show this dimension to the right side this supposed to be ISO 25 mm next after rising in height same as this procedure passing through this center draw one line this line should be parallel to this 30 degree line again passing through the same center draw one more line it should be parallel to this 30 degree line next with this as a center mark 10 20 25 to the right side iso 25 to the this side and 10 20 25 to this side 10 20 25 to this side after marking all these points, students have a tendency to meet this particular points directly. Ensure the line should be passing through this point and it should be parallel to this 30 degree line. Have a look. Any line, if you are raising this particular way, it should be parallel to this 30 degree. And similarly, the line tracing to this way, it should be parallel to this 30 degree. So after drawing this way, so you got a base part or a top surface. Next, how to draw the circular part? It is the same procedure. Have a look. Opposite two points to be joined somewhere this way. Next, from this as a center, this as a radius, draw a curved part again these opposite points to be joined to this particular point next with this as a center this as a radius same procedure you can draw a curved path next the intersection of these two lines meet somewhere here so with that as a center and this as a radius you can draw this curve next the intersection of these two lines somewhere here with this as a center this as a radius draw this curve path after drawing this curve path have a look center take a center point with this as a center and a curve path as a radius draw an arc or a curve directly you need not to measure anything in a scale directly take this center point as a center and this curve path as a radius draw tracing a curve this way so it clearly meet somewhere here okay so after completing thus if you feel the construction lines are clumsy you can erase this particular lines after erasing the suitable lines so just for a confirmation with this center and this curve part as a radius when you draw this particular curve ensure it should go beyond the center point so you can make a note here the center point is somewhere here and the curve point it is going beyond this particular okay so this completes your problem